I helped found this organization in 1986 because the United States has the highest rate of infant mortality among the world's wealthiest nations. Because nearly half of the babies born in the U.S. are born into poverty and living on Medicaid. Because breastfeeding rates for black infants are dramatically lower than those for white infants. And because so many vulnerable women lack the supports that they need to sustain them through pregnancy, birth, and parenting. We used to meet around kitchen tables, focusing on promoting breastfeeding in low-income communities of Chicago. Since then, we've grown beyond breastfeeding support and well beyond the boundaries of Chicago. We're now the national leader in advancing respectful, community-based, peer-to-peer support for pregnancy, birth, breastfeeding, and early parenting. Community health workers, or lay health workers, play a critical role in improving health equity. Our doula and breastfeeding peer counselor programs are strong examples of this community-based model to promote early health and early learning. Our current objectives are to expand this on-the-ground community health worker impact in families by supporting more community sites to launch and sustain maternal infant community health worker programs, to build the evidence supporting this workforce by conducting rigorous and respectful evaluation and research, and to change policy by synthesizing and sharing our programs health and early learning outcomes through our national advocacy network of partners and sector leaders. Our small size means we're lean and nimble. We employ a train-the-trainer approach that results in more sustainable programs for high-stakes populations. Second, our commitment to peer-to-peer -peer and begin-before-birth care puts dedicated community health workers where they can do enormous good in living rooms, delivery rooms, beauty shops, bus stops, and around kitchen tables. And finally, our base in Chicago has allowed us to measure the change that we've created here in our own backyard and inform our work across the country. Health Connect One champions community health workers, powerful force for change. Our partnership with more than 100 U.S. organizations realizes the potential of natural community leaders to improve the lives of vulnerable children. Our work results in better health outcomes for vulnerable families because we build local heroes. We listen to and activate communities and we focus tightly, right place, right time, right model. By connecting community health workers with vulnerable families at the right place, like neighborhood health centers and homes, and the right time, which is pregnancy through early childhood, we dramatically improve birth outcomes. Health Connect One measures the number of women trained and employed by our partner sites as breastfeeding peer counselors and community-based doulas, the number of families served by these women, the increased access to health care by women and infants in these communities, the number of organizations connected and served by our national network, the volume and effectiveness of our policy advocacy, and ultimately, improved health outcomes for both mother and child. The most consistent quantitative success we see is in breastfeeding. Our programs consistently achieve breastfeeding rates over 80% in high-risk communities with dramatically high duration and exclusivity rates, decreasing lifelong risks for obesity and chronic disease for both mother and baby. First, although our work directly impacts thousands of women and infants every year 
we're not a direct service organization. Rather, we collaborate with partners across the country to support their implementation of community health worker programs. Secondly, our leadership team is quite diverse. A majority of staff members are of color with immensely varied experience and background. And finally, Health Connect One is about mothers and babies and their families. But we're also more than that. We link voices on the ground to national policymakers and decision makers around the country. Health Connect One facilitated a national grassroots advocacy campaign, which resulted in the first federal funding for community-based doula work. We've been recognized by the W.K. Kellogg Foundation as a field builder, one of six national organizations considered leaders of the foundation's first food national strategy. We developed and launched an initiative to measure the quality of community-based doula programs, creating the first ever community-based doula program accreditation framework. And we launched a pilot community-based doula program with our Chicago partner, UCAN, in which graduates of the foster care system are trained and employed as doulas for pregnant and parenting teens still in foster care. Health disparities in the U.S. are significant and expanding. The community health worker model counters health care inequity. However, we continue to encounter strong bias against recognizing the value of services that are provided by women from the community who often don't possess traditional credentials. Despite strong evidence, people don't fully believe that lay women who are leaders in their own communities can become effective providers of basic health information and support. We work vigorously to convince key policymakers to reimburse community health worker services. With additional resources, we would be able to expand the reach of our two successful community health worker models, community-based doulas and breastfeeding peer counselors, by partnering with new allies. We would build the evidence base for our work. We would enrich our advocacy work through regional conferences, advocacy training, and annual summits. And we would increase our contribution to the complex conversation around public health in the U.S. Our successful programs around the country make a huge difference in thousands of lives, but we've only just begun to integrate those programs into large healthcare systems. We need to develop tools and products to engage public and private stakeholders, share our impact with strategic policy audiences, and position our models for influence and impact. Finally, we believe that there is a role for a social enterprise startup, a for-profit arm of our organization that would be able to contract with clinics, health systems, and even individuals to integrate community health workers as cost-effective members of the maternal and child health care team. <laughs>